Thank you for joining us and a warm welcome to the program. We begin in Equatorial Guinea where an opposition leader has called for the resignation of the government, accusing it of failing to honor President Teodoro Obiang Ngema's promise to release political prisoners. The General Secretary of the Convergence for uh, Social Democracy, CPDS, which is the second opposition party in Equatorial Guinea and is taking part, one of the few that is taking part in the, national, in the current national dialogue, Andres Esona Ondo noted that 13 days after a presidential decree on the total amnesty for political prisoners was announced by President Obiang, no political prisoner has been released so far. Wenceslas Mansongo Alo, who is one of the leaders of the Equatorial Guinea opposition, is online with us to talk about it. Mansongo Alo, hello. You're part of the opposition and you participate in this political dialogue with the government, but where is his promise to release political prisoners? On July 4, Obiang decreed a general amnesty for all political prisoners. The dialogue began on Monday 16th, and the first question our Secretary General asked the moderator, who is the Prime Minister, is why 12 days after the amnesty decree, no political prisoner was released from prison. The answer given to him is that the government takes note of the question and that the answer will be given, and that is all. Obiang, in his opening speech, did not even mention this problem. Which is in the mouth, mouths of all citizens. Everyone has heard the decree, but no one sees the prisoners leave, and everyone wonders what kind of dialogue is being announced, but which finally begins like this, without respecting the word given. Uh, for the opposition, one of the conditions for the participating in this dialogue was the release of political prisoners. No prisoners have been released, and yet you take part in this dialogue. We don't agree with how things work. We proposed an alternative agenda that was rejected by the government. But that said, we consider it an opportunity to tell the government before international witnesses, because there is a representative of the UN Secretary General, there is a representative of the African Union, and there are ambassadors for democratic countries. So it is an opportunity, knowing full well that Obi Young will not respect but it is still an opportunity to tell him, in full view of everyone, what is wrong with the country. In this dialogue, another leader of the opposition called for the resignation of the government because it does not apply this amnesty. Do you share his opinion? Political parties are sovereign to in this dialogue and each presents the situation as a seat. If a party to ask the government to resign, at least that is not our position. Our position, if we wanted to have a credible and sincere dialogue, is to organize at the end of this meeting a government of national unity. That all political parties participate in such a way that after one year, two years, three years, as long as we deem necessary, we move towards plural and free elections. That is our position. Uh, 